All right, so I gotta keep going, Romeo. I don't even want these fucking glasses on. Do I look stupid with this hat? Bass Pro Shop. I look like an outdoor type of dude, but I don't even know. Um, I've never been fishing. I went fishing when I was in jail and when I was in like a little kid. I wasn't in jail for a long time. Actually, I say jail because I've never been to prison. I've been to a CDC fire camp. It's the only thing I've been to. But jail's not for nobody, man. It's nowhere you want to be. You can't read freely books over the internet in jail. You can't be in a place where you're fully chasing your own dream and you're and you're like not being dictated. I'm saying that because even some people live and let people dictate their lives and are so depressed and unhappy with their life. That's, you know, but when you gone to jail and you can't escape certain shit, you don't ever want to be there again. So, I don't know, I don't, I look like a, like a, in the country type of dude now with this hat. Romeo and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 2, Enter Capulet, County Paris, and Peter, Capulet's servant. Capulet, but Montague was bound as well as I, and penalty alike, and tis not hard, I think, for men so as old as we to keep the peace. Paris, of honorable reckoning are you both, and pity tis you lived at odds so long, but now, my lord, what say you to my suit? Capulet, but saying o'er what I have said before, my child is yet a stranger in the world. She hath not seen the change of fourteen years, let two more summers wither in their pride, ere we may think her ripe to be a bride. Paris, younger than she, our happy mother's maid, Capulet, and too soon marred are those so early made. Earth hath swallowed all my hopes, but she, but she is the hopeful lady of my earth. But to work, but uh, woe her, but, no, but woo, woo her, gentle Paris, get her heart. My will to her consent is but a part, and she agree within her scope of choice lies my consent and fair according voice. This night I hold an old custom feast whereto I, I have invited many a guest, such as I love and you among the store. One more and most welcome makes my number more. At my poor house look to behold this night, earth, tr earth treading stars, that make dark heaven light, such comfort as do lusty young men feel when while a, while a periled April on the hill of limping winter treads even such delight among fresh fennel buds, shall you, shall you this night inherit at my house? <laughs> Hear all, all see, and like her most, whose merit most shall be, which on more view of men, uh, which on more view of many, mine being one, may stand in number, though in reckoning none, come, go with me. To Peter, giving him a paper. Go, Sarah, tread about, trudge about through fair Verona. Find those persons out whose names are written here. And to them say my house and welcome. Okay, and to them say my house and welcome on their pleasure stay. Exit with Paris. So the, is that, that's the king, right? The king's a, a capulet. He's having like a party. And I guess all the like the fine bachelors are supposed to, not fine bachelors, but um, bachelors with fine qualities are supposed to come. Pause. <laughs> Peter, find them out whose names are written here. It is written that the shoemaker should meddle with his yard and the tailor with his last, the fisher with his pencil and the painter with his nets. But I am sent to find those persons whose names are here writ and can never find what names the writing person hath here writ. I must to the learned, and I must to the learned in a good time. So he does not a read or something. Enter Benvolio and Romeo. Benvolio, tut man, one fire burns out another's burning. One pain is lessened by another's anguish. Turn giddy and be hope by backward turning. One desperate grief cures with another's anguish. Take thou some new infection to thy eye and the rank poison of the old will die. So we'll just go get another chick. You know, Romeo, your plantain leaf is excellent for that. Oh, some weed? Benvolio, for what I pray thee? Romeo, you're broken for uh, for your broken shin. <laughs> but well, why, Romeo, art thou mad? Romeo, not mad, but bound more than a madman is. Shut up in prison, kept without uh, my food, whipped and tormented in God, den, good fellow. Peter, God, je, 
God den, I pray, so you, can you read? God ge, God den. God ge, God den. I pray, sir, can you read? Romeo, a mine own fortune in my misery. Peter, perhaps you have learned it without look, but I pray, can you read anything you see? Romeo, I, if I know the letters in the language, Peter, yes, say honestly, rest you merry. Romeo, stay, fellow, I can read. He reads the letter. Signor Martino and his wife and daughters, County Anselm and his beauteous sisters, the lady widow of Vitruvio, Signor Placentio and his lovely nieces, Mercutio and his brother Valentin, my uncle Capulet, his wife and daughters, my fair niece Rosaline and Livia, Signor Valentio and his cousin Tabot, Lucio and the lively Helena, a fair assembly, whither should they come? Peter up, Romeo whither? Peter, to supper to our house. Romeo, whose house? Peter, my master's. Romeo, indeed I should have asked you that before. Peter, now I'll tell you without asking, my master is the great rich Capulet, and if you be not of the house of Montagues, I pray come and crush a cup of wine, rest you merry, exit. Also, he gave him the invitation to go out, but how did he run into him? So they just ran into each other? Um, Benvolio, at this same ancient feast of Capulets, subs the fair Rosaline, whom thou so love, with all the admired beauties of Verona. Go, 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 is that, is that thither? T H I T H E R? Go thither, and with unattained eye, compare her face with some that I shall show, and I will make thee think thy swan a crow. <laughs> Romeo, when the devout religion of my thine eye maintains such falsehood and turns tears to fires and these who often drown can never die transparent heretics be burnt for liars one fairer than my love the all-seen sun near saw her match since first the world begun <laughs> benvolio tut you saw her fair none else being by herself poised with herself in either eye but in that crystal scales let there be weighed your lady's love against some other maid that I will show you shining at this feast and she shall scant show well that now seems best and she shall scant and she saw and she shall scant show well that now seems best that I will show you shining at this feast at this feast so he's saying I'll find you a finer woman Romeo I'll go along no such sight to be shown but to rejoice in splendor of my own exuant exuant E-X-E-U-N-T, exit. Another word for exit, just so you guys learn. But that was 1.2, chapter 1. No, not chapter 1, it was uh, Act 1, Scene 2. Peace.